Hey guys, Gameplay Person here and today I'm making a video on how you can get the best quality with your cheap mic. So basically I have a kind of cheap mic so I'm going to teach you how to get the best, best, best quality out of it for cheaply and well it's for free basically and it will make your commentary sound nicer and sound like you have a really expensive mic. So first thing you want to do is go to this website, link will be in the description and you want to choose your operating system. So my operating system is Windows because I'm on Windows 7 and you want to click Audacity 2.05 installer or whatever version is there. So once you do that, click it, download and when it's finished downloading you're going to want to install that. But I already have it installed. So yeah, so here it is. I'm going to open it up. So this is what Audacity looks like when you open it up and you want to want to make sure that you've chosen the right microphone. My one is Logitech USB mic and what you're gonna want to do is record with this software because it gives you the best quality so you want to hit record to start recording and as you can see there's these bars on the top moving forward and back that shows that your mic is working and is showing how loud you're speaking and over here you're sh seeing these wave forms or whatever it's called I have no clue what it's called but yeah and once you're recording that it's good and once you finish recording you want to press the stop button it's a little square yellow square and once you've done that it should be recorded it should show up like this so the first f f so the first thing you're going to want to do is zoom in a bit and try find a bit where you're completely silent so it's good to be silent at the beginning of a video but I kind of failed there but I think over here I was silent so you want to find a bit where you're completely silent you want to click and drag so that uh, you're selecting the bit the whole section where you're silent so you want to click and drag just click and drag that's it and once you've done that you want to go to effect noise removal first thing you're going to want to do you want to click get noise profile you don't want to click anything else just click get noise profile once you've done that it would close up it would look like nothing happened but something did so you wanna click your track this will select the whole track and then you wanna go back to effect then back to noise removal then just click remove and click ok you can copy down my settings I think they're the default settings they work pretty good so yeah so once you've done that you can go back to the bit where you're silent there's no background noise so once you've done that you're gonna wanna add another effect which makes you sound a bit more manlier and stuff like that so this won't make your voice super manly if you have a really high pitched voice but I kind of have a high pitched voice I guess to some people so yeah this is how I fix it so you're gonna wanna go to effect then bass and treble the third one down and you wanna go and copy these settings if you want I don't I don't you don't need to just fiddle around with it and then click to start recording and can. as you can hear what it sounds like so click OK and as you can see it amplifies it and it boosts the bass on your on your recording so look start recording and as you can see there's these bars on the top move so as you can probably tell there's a bit more bass than it was before and once what you want to do after that is after everything's done you are gonna wanna go to file then export then once you do export you wanna I think uh, the best file type is um, is what do you call it WAV you can use WAV cuz I use that I think that's a good file type then name it whatever you want. It'll just I'm just gonna say test. Oh, that's in the way. Test. Ting. Testing, cause I'm a bad man. <laughs> I don't say my G's. That's just a weird thing to say. And why did I say that? So once you've done that, it's prop. It will be saved. If your audio clip is long, it would show a progress bar. But mine's was really short, so it didn't show a show a progress bar. So once you do that, you wanna close out of this you can save changes if you want but I don't save changes because I already exported it 
so click no and once you've done that you're gonna want to that's all you have to do actually that's all you do uh, I'm just gonna show you how to put it in your video file so yeah so you're gonna want to open your recording software so it's loading up right now and then you're gonna want to get get your video or whatever I mean your sound and just drag it onto your thing your video editing software sh should go on there and that's it and then add the video and yeah that's all you have to do so thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial hopefully if this helped you please leave a like because it really helps me out and also sorry for not uploading a lot of gaming videos I just like helping people sometimes and I like making tutorials so yeah so if you're new subscribe for more tutorials and gaming videos and if you want to like this video it will be nice and also um, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video if you subscribed and as you can see there's these bars on the top moving forward and back that shows that your mic is working and it's showing how loud you're speaking and over here you're sh seeing these wave forms or whatever it's called I have no clue what it's called but yeah and once you're recording that it's good and once you finish recording